So lasers are extremely useful, um, mostly because of their short wavelength. And they have a wavelength which is about a million times shorter than, than radio waves. And this wavelength can be used like a ruler uh, for metrology applications. And you can further subdivide the wavelength using techniques like interferometry or digital phase meters. Uh, the short wavelength also means that the, the beams don't spread out so much as they propagate. And this makes them very useful because you can, you can shoot them around and distribute this, uh, this ruler around to make measurements at a distance or over a distance. Uh, moreover, lasers interact with matter, and this can be useful for uh, probing the concentrations of uh, different molecules in a gas and various applications like that. Um, so lasers are essential in a wide variety of applications, um, like in optical clocks where they're used to probe stable atomic transitions, spectroscopy, and as I said, they interact with matter, uh, so you can look at absorption spectra, uh, all different kinds of spectroscopy. Uh, in communication, uh, both in fiber and uh, free space optical communication is quite a hot field at the moment. Um, gravitational wave detection uh, is what I've done a lot of work on in the past. Um, you can use uh, lasers to measure the waveforms that you get when black holes collide and stars explode, uh, both on, on the ground and in space. And very similar, but closer to home, by measuring the distance between two satellites using a laser, two satellites which are orbiting the Earth, you can infer uh, changes in basically the distribution of water around the surface of the Earth. So you can look, uh, study climate change and melting of ice caps and, and various other effects. And so lots of, lots of interesting applications, and I'm sure you all have your own. Um, but unfortunately, lasers are noisy, uh, particularly frequency noise is, is, is a problem. And this can be due to fundamental noise sources, uh, such as quantum noise or electronic uh, thermal noise, or due to the environment or technical noise, like uh, temperature, vibration, humidity. So what we want to do is stabilize these lasers and to do that, we need some reference, uh, which is itself stable. And um, we could use an atomic transition, uh, like is done for iodine-stabilized uh, Heaney lasers. 